Well, for 21 years, I've been in and out of prison institutions. Um, my life basically was spiraling out of control. It wasn't in my daughter's life. Um, she basically grew up without a father. Although she used to come see me on visits, it just still wasn't the same for me. At that point, I knew that I had to make some type of change. So when I went down to Bayside State Prison, you know, at first, I was just looking for a way out. So I dropped for status. Eventually I got it, went on to Tabo Hall. Went through the assessment process at Tabo Hall. Went through the program and then they sent me to Harbor House. Once I got to Harbor House, I saw a lot of familiar faces. Guys that I ran the streets with, guys that I went to school with. And they all was doing something with themselves, whether it was working or going to school. So I said, hey, if they can do it, I know I can change. So I just started inserting myself. I took the tools that the program had to offer, and I knew I had to do more than just write them down and remember them. I had to put them into my everyday living. I had to practice them. So once I, be, once I came to the stage to where I was able to leave the building, I could have went to work. I decided to go to school because I knew without an education, my, my success was limited. So I enrolled in Hudson County Community College. Um, I, I, I was always a fan of cooking. Cooking just ran in my family. So I, you know, I signed up for the College Navy Arts program. After my first term, I made the dance list. And I was like, wow. Like, my mom was proud of me. My daughter was looking up to me. I felt good for once in my life. But I was just not determined to stop there. Because I knew at blink of an eye, I could be right back in that situation. So I continued to apply the program. I continued to follow the steps. I kept beating it in, beating it in, beating it in. Although I was finished with the program part, I wasn't finished with the program part. I always resort back to my notes. Then once I got out, I said, you know what? This is the real challenge right here. And it was a slow start because I was used to the fast life, instant gratification. When I wanted it, I knew how to get it, but I knew that the faster I got it, I lost it even faster. So now I've been out for about four years. And I'm still in the process of getting my thing together. But it's just that, it's a process. So I had to take it day by day, week by week, month by month. But however long it's gonna take, I'm not gonna force or rush the process. Now, four days later, I'm working for the company. I'm currently in training. I will be an operation counselor at Delaney Hall. And I'm not gonna stop there. As long as I'm alive and I'm breathing, I'm always gonna strive for greatness.